Hi, Marty Lecklader, Product Manager Forms Experience Builder. This is a quick demo of Feb 8.5 and Portal 001. I'm going to start by uh, dropping a second Forms Experience Builder portlet onto a portal page. This is something that's new with Feb 8.5. So in this case, I save the portlet, which then allows me to configure the portlet, which, which means I can actually select the app that I'm going to host in that particular portlet. In this case, I'm going to pick a timesheet. And this timesheet speaks to the time reports application on the right. Um, so we've got them side by side here in edit mode. Uh, I flip over to view mode, and we can see the uh, the final result here. So that's uh, pretty simple to do. Let's take a look at another example. In this case, what I have is a uh, Forms Experience Builder application. Those two sliders there, and it's intermixed with with rich text. So this is a Wickham portlet. And uh, the way I've done this is I've, I've actually taken the Feb application URL and I've embedded that into the rich text as an iframe. So you can see the, the iframe indication there. And if I go into the code section of the content, you can see the uh, actual iframe snippet that, that's been pasted in there, much like I would paste a Google map into a, uh, into a web page. And the uh, display looks uh, just beautiful, and you, you can see that it, it seems like a natural part of the uh, the web content, which you know, in fact, it is. Uh, these two new slider widgets are new with Feb 8.5, by the way. Um, going on, some other examples here. I've got uh, the uh, new Feb portlet again. In this case, I'm throwing a table in here and doing some querying on that, and you can see the social on the side. Uh, the next. Uh, form that I'll pull up here is to enter in a new deal. You know, so you can see this display is quite nice and I've got uh, some some files information on the right and then finally uh, some chart information. In this case I, th I threw the chart into an iframe as opposed to the Forms Experience Builder portlet. Um, another feature is you're, you're able to configure Forms Experience Builder portlets uh, as finished applications. So in this case what I've done is configured one as a customer service app and I've just dropped that customer service app onto the page. And you can see rather than going in and configuring the portlet, uh, it just comes up as the app itself. And then we can go in and um, go ahead and create a new uh, incident here and you know, fill out the form. You see that this is fully functional. It's a multi-page form with tables and reports. So to configure this portlet, I simply made a copy of the one that comes with the product, call it customer service, and I added the application URL. That's really all there is to it. Now if we took, take a look at the one that comes with the product, the settings look identical with the exception of there is no application URL. So in summary, Forms Experience Builder is simple to integrate with your web experience and can add tremendous value. Thank you.